All right, let's head inside 2924 par. So current configuration is a three bedroom, I think one bath, maybe two bath. Um, as you're gonna see throughout here, it's already been taken down pretty much to the studs. Actually, I'd say, judging everything, it's already been taken down to the studs and they started putting up new sheetrock. I don't know if they reconfigured um, a ton of walls, but you can see here that this was a wall previously. So maybe um, some, this was a different uh, area, kind of hard to tell exactly. Um, but we'll go ahead and walk through it in here. Uh, what I'd say is this looks like a uh, living space um, off of uh, the front of the house here. Uh, looks like this is piped and wired for kitchen and then maybe additional living space over here. So maybe you're doing dining here, living here, kitchen, etc. cetera. Um, there is a room back over here that currently doesn't, uh, the wall separating. So you could open this up if you wanted to, but if you're gonna do this as a rental, I would say turning this into a bedroom. Um, adding a closet to this would not be difficult at all because of what's on the other side of this wall here. I can show you uh, real easily. So I think this could end up being a fourth bedroom um, if that makes sense and everything. And so this is what I'm talking about. This is a utility room in here. Um, even eh, maybe not doing it exactly. You'd have to probably move the wall, which means you have to move the electric. So probably not as logically um, the, the thing to do there, but you've got options point being still making this into a bedroom, uh, as a fourth bedroom potentially increases your, it certainly increases your rental income. Uh, if it's worth the ROI, not so sure about that. We'll definitely uh, want to take a look at the numbers for that one. Uh, but then as we head back here into, um, the original living space. So this appears to be, um, where a second bathroom would be. I'm judging that based off of the rough out, what I'm seeing in here, that appears like that might be a, a toilet, et cetera. Um, on the other side of this is the um, ensuite uh, for the back bedroom, which I'll show you. So I think this is was intended in this configuration, certainly would make sense to be a bathroom. We've got bedroom one here. Bedroom two here, and then this back bedroom here. This one here is not really much larger um, than, than any of the other bedrooms, but it does have an ensuite. So, um, so as you can see, that's how it would work out. And I think, I think that's probably the right configuration um, for it. And again, the idea of potentially a fourth bedroom over here to the right. If you're gonna use this as for passive income, it probably makes sense to do that from a resale perspective. I don't know if that really, um, if that truly adds a whole lot of value uh, to you considering the neighborhood and everything. So let's take a look at the outside. You can see there's a lot of um, rough looking stuff here on the outside. Um, it looks like they were putting up some, either pulling down this um, vinyl, um, exposing the wood, so definitely need to get that cleaned up and make sure that that's in good shape. Maybe they were trying to keep it rustic. Um, not really sure what the objective was here. Um, we got a stump here in the front yard. So from aesthetics perspective, for a rental, I don't think that's necessary from a resale. It's probably something you're gonna wanna address. <clears throat> Exterior over here, we got brick at the front of the house, but you can see that there um, has been some significant settlement here and there's some separation along the window here that's quite significant um now it's brick it's facade the inside of the house didn't feel i didn't have really any concerns at all as i was walking through but seeing that on the outside does give me a little bit of pause i just want to make sure maybe that was something that was existing and was taken care of as they were starting to rehab on the house here uh siding over here eh, it doesn't look great it's not um but it's not the worst thing in the world. I guess the thing that's strange to me is it appears at least going back a little ways is brick. Um, so I don't know how far back the brick goes. If it is brick, pulling off this vinyl siding might be a better solution. Looks like, yeah, it's really hard to tell from where we are here if it's brick or, or 
um, what it is on the back side here. Uh, that looks like it's sheathing, so probably not brick. Probably brick only goes back a little ways. Um, lots of cleanup here in the yard. You can see we do have a detached uh, two-car garage. Um, but a lot of cleanup. Got all this concrete. Looks like I guess this was a driveway, and maybe they tore up the concrete on it. You can see the back side of the house here. So interior-wise, just really finish out stuff. Exterior, that's where you're running into a lot more challenges and increased cost, etc. Now, the values in this area are pretty doggone good. And, and same thing with rentals. Um, they're going to generate a lot. Um, so just got to sit down and do the numbers and make sure it's worthwhile on everything. All right. So take a look at those numbers. Let us know what you think. Thanks.